In this video, I want to show how to use the linear regression class from scikit-learn to uh, actually like fit a line to data like this. But if I try to fit a line to this exact data, it's not going to be very impressive because it lies exactly on a line. And our eventual goal is to do like data analysis with real world data, where the data isn't going to be perfectly linear like this. So I'm going to make this more complicated by adding some noise argument. And what this is going to say is, what's the standard deviation going to be for, for this data? So let me say standard deviation of 5. Okay, if, if I had a lot more sample points, then I'd probably use a bigger standard deviation here. But I think this will be reasonable. And also... This line here that I produced above, it goes exactly through the origin. Uh, I don't want this line to go through the origin. Let's indicate a bias and can put any number I want here. Let's have like negative 17.4. Okay, that, that worked. Now let's... Let's plot this data just to see. It should look a little more random, but should still generally look like it's on a line. So still definitely looks linear, but also looks a little more random. Okay, great. So here is how we can use scikit-learn's linear regression class to, to try to find, like, think of it as trying to find what is this coefficient here? What is this M and what is this bias term? Okay, sometimes this sort of coefficient could be called a weight. So how can I do this? Well, first I have to get the linear regression class from scikit-learn. So I'm going to say from sklearn.linear model, import linear regression. So notice the difference between how this is written and how make regression is written. So this is going to be like an object constructor, and it has these capital letters in it. Also has no underscore. I'm not sure if that's uh, standard or not, but the capital letters for an object constructor are very normal. So if I just do linear regression with parentheses after it, this is going to say create a linear regression object. And I'm going to save that linear regression object with the name reg. And if I check what's the type of this, hey, I get that this is a scikit-learn linear regression object. Okay, great. And now let's fit it using this x data and the y data. So uh, let's say reg.fit. And if you remember what we were doing with standard scalar, this is going to look very similar. So... Suddenly, now that I've done this, REG has some information about what it thinks the coefficient is and what it thinks the uh, bias is. So um, I can check reg.coef. So 34.3. And let's see how that compares to the true coefficient. So the true coefficient was saved with this variable name m. And uh, let's check what's M. I don't expect it to be exactly the same, but okay, in this case, it's quite similar. Great. And then there's also a bias term for this regression, but it's not called bias, it's called intercept. Okay, intercept with this underscore after it, negative 19.47. And okay, so it's not quite as close as the coefficient was, but still, uh, still pretty close. Okay, the true one was negative 17.4. This one is negative 19.4. And if I want to get, like, what would this uh, regression object, what would it predict for the x values? Okay, then I can do reg.predict. Okay, this is the analog of um, scalar.transform from standard scalar. And in here I can plug x. And let me save this with the variable name PRED. So uh, let's look at PRED. So it's a NumPy array, it's length 10, and these are the predicted outputs for the inputs X. 
And so let's, uh, let's go back up here and let me copy this that I used for my plotting. And then let me also plot on these axes. It's going to be x for the x values again, but now it's going to be pred. So this scatter, that's going to be a scatter plot, just like separated points. This plot, that's going to be a line plot. So it's going to be a line connecting plots or connecting points, I should say. And let's see how this looks. So even though it's not perfect, um, as we saw, like for example, the bias was off by about two. You can see that this line that the linear regression object created or that it found, uh, it very closely matches this data that we generated using make regression.